Okay, welcome back. So, I guess today we're just going to keep on trucking. Since we're kind of heading around to a red dot in the mountains somewhere. Which I'm pretty sure is this way. I mean, we'll have a little explore and show the area off. A few fights would be quite good for us. We can show off Yuffie a little bit. That's a dead end. Oh, something on the hill there. If you can see that then when the camera panned around. It's not giving me a camera angle of it now, but there was something on the mountains. Which I now can't see. So let's see what we've got in these woods. <gasps> frogs! Oh my god, lots a lot of frogs. Um, this could be an issue. Uh, we don't really have anything to fight them all with. Bio? Do have any multiple? Red 13 has not got anything to do on multiple enemies. Cloud's got no mana, which is annoying. I should probably heal up first. Let's throw him in ether. So we've poisoned those frogs, so that's a start, I guess. Plus, they're not too tough. They die quite easy. So, Red 13 is my hero. So yeah, Yuffie's weapon, not that you get a very good angle of it from here, is like a... It's like a sh big shuriken. Like a nin big ninja star. Right, just play beams with these fucking frogs. Hey, Cloud's gonna learn frog song. He's also not gonna really cast blade beam now. Focus on getting rid of one side first. So this would be a good time to have like immune to frog on, which I think actually Yuffie has got on at the minute. So no frog for her. But let's show off her limit break as well. But these are probably not the best enemies because they don't really do anything other than just sleep and frog you constantly. Now oh, the whole team is asleep. Oh no. She's awake now. She's pissed. For God's sake, get on with it. You annoying enemy. It's literally pointless because all they could do now is attack me, which would instantly wake me up. Can't even ever run away from this fight. I don't really have anything to use on them. For God's sake. Time to just to run just because this fire is annoying. I'm going to be here all day trying to kill these fucking things. Do you guys actually do any physical damage? Jesus. Fourteen. It shows how little health they have. Let's just run away, because Jesus Christ. It's just annoying. So yeah, that was Yuffie's weapon, from what you can see of it. It's just a very big ninja star that she can throw. It is classed as a long-range weapon. But we can now actually technically upgrade her. So that's... probably the one we're going to go for, because it's got more slots. Let's show Wind Slash. At least what it looks like. Let's get out of this fucking forest, because Jesus Christ. Let's see what else there is out here. So that just loops back round. No point going that way. So we'll head this way instead. Oh, hello, you're different. Grand Horn. And a grand punch, and that does some nice damage. So Yuffie's got manipulate. Let's see if we can manipulate it. She got like a fan. It's kind of her weapon now, I guess. Clever hazard. Yes, hit Yuffie. Get that limit break up. Get wrecked. So 
Let's keep moving around. We can clearly go over here with the uh, buggy. Ah, there he is, look. Something in the distance. Let's make our way around to it. It's behind you! Oop. Now you can use the run buttons to spin them around, but I think it still counts as a back attack damage. It doesn't actually change that. So here we go. Greased lightning. Sure. And there you go. That's Yuffie's first limit break. Should probably do a heal because this thing hits hard. So Red 13 must be close to getting his second limit break. You don't have to do them that many times to unlock a second one within that level. Oh god damn it. I didn't want to kill it. I wanted bloody 13 to kill it. How are we looking for health? Yeah, everyone's fine. Oops, I didn't mean to get out. It's a bird, I believe this is called a griffin. Yep. Strange little things you remember. Why does that do so little damage? Let's see if we can manipulate it. Nope. Maybe we could if we keep trying. Nope. Kill it. Luckily Cloud had his uh, long range on, otherwise he wouldn't have been able to hit that. Yuffie should be able to because obviously she is has this long range because she can kind of throw that thing because it is a ninja star even though it's a really big ninja star so we could technically go in here I guess I don't think there's anything in here other than fights oh my god it's Cyan Man or a golem apparently Robot Golem. Can we manipulate it? That is always the question. I guess not. That wouldn't really make much sense considering it's a machine. But you never know. Should we, th should we show throw off? I don't know what we're going to throw. Oh yeah, we've got Fairy Tail, which is a new weapon for Ares. Uh, we should have equipped our other weapon as well, really, shouldn't we? So apparently you can only throw, like, weapons and stuff. There's nothing there I want to throw. This thing's getting closer to me, I notice. Back you! Some bolt. Yeah, you will back up. Not quite sure what it's doing, but... Let's not wait to find out. Let's try and kill it. There we go. So why I think about it will change Yuffie's weapon to the one we're probably going to use, which is the boomerang. You can probably imagine what that's going to look like. So this is just a dead end. And I forgot how I got in here. There we go. It's a turtle from either side. I remember these mobs being annoying because they take like no physical damage or something. And if you can see Yuffie's weapon, it's literally a boomerang. Oh, they do take physical damage. These enemies are weird. I'm sure sometimes they don't. See, like there. Why do they only take one damage? And again. Hmm. Let's try hitting the other one then. 
Oh, what did I just click onto attack there? I think I fucked up. Sorry, Cloud. <laughs> it gets a bit weird when they're on either side. You can click on your own team. See, that one took physical damage all the way, but... This one's being a little bitch. Okay, let's see if you like some Bolt. You weren't too keen on that, were you? Oh, that's on fire. Meh. For God's sake, just piss off. Annoying mob. Carry on. Aha! Here we go. This looks like the place. I am home. It is I, Nanaki. Is that how you pronounce that? I should always used to call him. Just call him Nanak. Hey, Nana Nanaki, Nanakai. You're safe. Come on, and s say hello to Bugenhagen. Bloody names, Nanaki. What well, you got to save yourself? Hmm. Any material? Enemy area around? Is that all you care about? Welcome to Cosimo Canyon. Are you familiar with the land? Uh, no. Let me explain. People from all over the world gather here to seek the study of the planet life. It's fully, it's full capacity. At pre it's full capacity at the minute, so I'm afraid I can't let you enter. They helped me some when I was on the road. Please let them in. Oh. Is that so? You helped our Nanaki. Please come in. Who is Nanaki? Nanaki is Nanaki. That's his name. I'm probably pronouncing that very wrong, but whatever. Okay, so we haven't got Nanaki anymore. Or oh, 13. So let's bring back in... Planet of the Life. Planet of the Life? What? Uh, life planet stuff. I feel like Barrett would like this. Because you're trying to save the planet, right? I mean, guess so would Tiffa. So would probably Ares, because she likes to talk to the planet. And we've seen Yuffie now, so let's get rid of her. We'll sort Materia out later. Let's go and have a look around. Welcome to Cosmo Canyon. Make yourself at home. I will. Thank you. So this is Cosmo Canyon. Quite a mysterious place. Have you come to seek the study of planet life? Uh, that's it. Yeah? I heard there's an awesome observatory here. I'd like to see it if I have a chance. Who's this little shit up here? Yay, Nanaki! Nanaki's back! It's all thanks to, the, his, the, to this flame. This fire is called the Cosimo Candle. It has burned for generations. It is a holy flame that protects this canyon. I heard once it only went out once. Long ago. The elder said something horrifying occurred. I really don't know much about it. Anything else? Yeah, okay, you just say the same thing. Let's check this place out. Welcome. How about our original cocktail, Cosimo Candle? A drink now and then is a drink now and then is good for you. Oh, a drink now and then is good for you. Jesus. It's really... It'll relax you a bit. If you know when to stop. Is that so? You brought Nanaki back here. Yeah, thanks. Uh, you're welcome. I don't quite know where I'm wandering, but... Let's have a look around. Let's 
seems like a place to rest, maybe? Can we actually buy anything from you? No, you're just saying the same thing. They all offer me drinks and then don't actually sell me anything. So you're going to be a inn, right? Welcome to the Shildra Inn. It's very close to Shindra. It'll be a hundred gil a night. Would you like to stay? No thanks. Well then, please come again. What's this thing on the wall? Oops, it's not what I was going for. I guess these are the beds. Received elixir. I didn't even know that was there. But sure. Turtles Paradise number five. Our cocktails are good, but our wine is the best. Please stop in to Turtles Paradise. So there's the fifth one. Pretty sure there's only six, right? So we've only got one more to find. Uh, can we climb this ladder? We can. I don't know if there's anything up here, but... We'll have a look. A whole lot of nothing. So it's this ladder here, which looks like it goes to something. What you got? Hello, looking for anything in particular? Potentially. Potions. It's a big fat nope. So there is another shop you can get to through this rope, but I don't know when you get there. Maybe you can't get there until later on. I don't know if there's anything else out up here. So yeah, that's it for now. Don't really need any items, so I guess we'll go find Nanaki. Or however you pronounce it. Oh, you stood right there. Here is where I was I mean, this is my hometown. My tribe my tribe will protect us of those who appreciate this beautiful canyon and the planet. My brave mo my brave mother fought and died here, but my cowardly father left her. I am the last of my race. Cowardly father? Yes, my father was a, a wastrel. Sure. And so the mission I inherited from my ancestors is to protect this place. My journey ends here. Hey, Nanaki, you're home. Coming, Grandpa. Let's rest for a bit. There are some things I want to find out about anyway. If he's the last of his race, how does he have a grandpa? It makes no sense. Turtles Paradise Newsletter number 4. Now hiring. Looking for someone who can stand long hours of boredom? The details contact Pub Turtles Paradise. So I believe that is the last one. Uh, are you a weapon vendor? Oh, welcome. The people of this canyon hate to com compete, so almost everything here are replicas. That's alright, some of them. You, sh you really can use. Ugh. Words. Butterfly Edge. Is this a new sword? New weapons for everybody by the looks of it. Butterfly Edge. Nice. Tiger Fang. Heavy Vulcan. Prism Staff. Which reminds me, we've got a new weapon for Ares to look at. Silver thingy, which is useless now because we don't have 13 anymore. But. Sure. Pinwheel, another new weapon for her. Green M phone, sure. Silver amulet, that's new because that's good for everybody. So let's buy, how many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a lot of money. Uh, we need, so we'll get eight. In case one, some of them get stolen or whatever. Um. Let's have a look at weapons then. So, Butterfly Edge was the new one, which is upgrade. And then we got the Silver Amulet. So, we've got two new slots to throw stuff in, not that we want much in there for Cloud. I mean, I guess we could put Death Blow, but am I ever going to use it? Probably not. Uh, we could put Cover in there, but again. 
I like them all to get hit so they build up the limit breaks. So I guess we could throw... Does he have a heal? Should we throw him a heal? Just not sure, just in case he's on his own. I mean, he's got white wind. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll get rid of him. It's not it. Gives him more health and stuff. Okay, we can't equip to anybody else because everyone else is pissed off. Uh, we'll use the save point at a later date. Uh, which way do we want to go? It's in here. Oh, hey, Barrett. There was this guy who studied planetary life here. He was going to take things the way they were. So he went to Midgar and to form Avalanche. Want to hear more? Sure. Guess you could say this is where Avalanche was born. I always wanted to come here. And I finally made it. Wait, so you said... A lot happened then. And then what? And then... I don't know what's going to happen. Now that there is no Avalanche... So you said a guy came here and Avalanche was born. That wasn't you? Did I misread that? So who formed Avalanche? Where did I put it? I know it's around here. Uh, I don't know, crazy person. always get stuck here. It's like, can't quite see what you're doing. You get stuck on the wall for some reason. Every time. What are you doing, kid? Buchenhagen sealed this door shut. How do you do that? With super glue? Uh, I doubt it. Oh man, I'm so busy. I need more help. Very much complaint. So is everybody like lying around in these places now? We've saw Barrett, so where's everybody else? Wait. Oh, so you forgot to change. Hey! Yes, I'm coming. Are you here to shop? No, yeah, what's your problem? Oh, is that so? Then leave me alone and let me ah, sleep. Yes, I'm here to shop, you douchebag. How oh, is that so? You're here to shop? I'm sorry, we hardly ever get any customers, so... No, oh, but I do have confidence in our materia. What you got? MP, MP plus, HP plus. So these are things you want to give to Cloud, if you don't want to equip him with materia. Because this just increases his HP and his MP. And obviously the HP ones are a bit better. They are very expensive though. So we're not going to buy any yet. Because that will literally rinse us of money. We could probably sell some stuff because we've got like a bunch of crap we don't use. But maybe another day. We'll leave it for now. But we know that they're there. For a later use. For when we want to really bump up his HP. Uh, what's up here? I can't remember which way we came. Oh, we get a nice view of the canyon. So we're going up here then. Cloud, this is my grandfather. Bugen. He is incredible. He knows everything. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho I hear that you looked after Nanaki for a bit. Nanaki is still a child, you see. Please stop, Grandfather. I'm 48. Ho ho ho. Naki's child has incredible longevity. So you see, this 48 years would only be equivalent to, say, that of a 15 or 16 year old in human reckoning. 15 or 16? He's quiet and, he's quiet and very deep. You thought he was an adult? Grandfather, I want to be an adult. I want to grow up and be able to protect you and the village. Ho ho ho! No, Ninaki, you can't stand on your own yet. 
do that now would destroy you in the long run. Reaching up to the heavens, threatening to snatch the very stars from the great city of Midgar. You've seen it, haven't you? Well, that's a bad example. Looking up too much makes you lose perspective. When it's time for this planet to die, you'll understand that you know absolutely nothing. When the planet dies? Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! It may be tomorrow, or in a hundred years from now, but it's not long off. How do you know this? I hear the cries of the planet. What's that? The sounds of the stars in the heavens. Well, this goes on, planets are born and die. What was that? Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! That was a scream from this planet. Didn't you hear it? As if to say, I hurt, I suffer. They have come here on a journey to save the planet. Why don't you show them your apparatus? Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! To save the planet? Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! But then again, I guess it wouldn't hurt to show him. Bugenhagen. Several odd looking people have come. The whole place has gotten busy all of a sudden. He brought friends too. I'll go get them. Clad, please call one of please call one of them. Only three people can fit in the grandfather's machine. Okay. Don't worry, my machine won't run away. You will go and invite your friends. I don't know why we're looking up here, but can't hurt to wander around. See the sights. Mew, I'm on the roof. Not that there's anything up there. Oh, keep going down. Don't worry, my shame won't run away. Yes, yes, okay. I mean, I've got the people I want, really. But... Oh, I don't, do I? They all left. <laughs> I forgot. So... Can I bring one person? Or can I take two? I'm confused. I don't know if I actually know where everyone is. Oh, there's Cat Sith. What did they say? They said... Oh, I can bring everybody in from here. Okay, so who do we take? I mean, I still stand by Ares and Barrow, right? I mean, obviously, Tiff is part of Avalanche. But I feel like Barrett's more planet-saving. He did start Avalanche for that purpose, and Ares is all about talking to the planets, so it makes sense. I guess to take them. I would assume that was Karen, you would think, but I don't know. You can take anybody. I don't think it really matters. I just feel like these two would probably appreciate it more. I mean, Yuffie wouldn't care. Here, over here, the door's unlocked. Come on in. Ho ho ho! It looks like you have them all together. Then let's begin. I'll be stunned. I'll be stunned there. What? I'll be stunned there. Sure. English. So pretty. It's just like the real thing. Hmm, yes, yeah, pretty good. This is my laboratory. All the workings of space are entered into this 3D holographic system. Hey, a shooting star!
Wow, how wonderful. Ho, ho, ho. Yes, it is something, isn't it? Well, let's get to the subject. Eventually, all humans die. What happens to them after they die? The body decomposes and returns to the planet. That much everyone knows. What about their consciousness, their hearts and their souls? The soul too returns to the planet. And not only those of humans, but everything on the, this planet. In fact, all living things in the universe are the same. The spirits that return to the planet, merge with one another and drone the planet. They roam, converge and divide. Become a swell called the life stream. Life stream. In other words, a path of energy of the souls roaming the planet. Spirit energy is a word that you should never forget. A new life, children are blessed with spirit energy and are brought into the world. Then the time comes when they die and once again return to the planet. Of course, there are exceptions. But this is the way of the world. I've digressed, but you'll understand better if you watch this. Spirit energy makes all things possible, trees, birds and humans. Not just living things, but spirit energy makes it possible for planets to be planets. What, ha what happens if the spirit energy were to disappear? These are the basics of the study of the planet life. If the spirit energy is lost, our planet is destroyed. Ho ho ho! Spirit energy is affected because it exists within nature. When spirit energy is forcefully extracted and manufactured, it can't accomplish its true purpose. You're talking about Mako energy, right? Every day, Mako reactors suck up spirit energy diminishing it. Spirit energy gets compressed in the reactors processed into make of energy. All living things are being used up and thrown away. In other words, make of energy will only destroy the planet. The story of the planets and those who lived within them. You want to know more? Then you must listen to the words of the elders. Okay. Anything else to say for yourself? Nanaki. Is father a coward? So that's it. Nanaki's been thinking that all is all this time. Okay, I guess we're getting out of here. Let's go see if we can find the rest of the group. Uh, let's head back down, I guess. We read this, didn't we? Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, here's everybody look. 
sat around the campfire. So I think we can talk to them in, all individually. I learned a lot. The elders told me many things about the Centra and the Promised Land. I'm alone. I'm all alone now. But I'm... we're here for you, right? I know. I know, but I'm the only Centra. Does that mean we can't help? Guessing that's all she got to say. Uh, I suppose we'll talk to you, shall we? I wonder how many years it's been. Gosh, brings back memories. What does? What a boring place. Just like I thought. I want to go somewhere. Let's go find some materia. Thank you, Yusuf. Cosimo Canyon. This is where Avalanche was born. I promised my guys someday, when we save the planet from the Shinra, that we'd all go to Cosimo Canyon and celebrate. Biggs. Wedge. Jesse. Now they're all gone. Died for the planet. Really? To save the planet? We all... We all hate the Shinra. Do I even got to go on? Will they... Will they ever forgive me? Right now I really don't know. But I know one thing. If there's anything I can do to save the planet or the people living on it, then I'm gonna do it. I don't care if it's for justice or revenge or whatever. I don't care. Let them decide for themselves. Ah! I'm gonna do it! Again! Again! Avalanche is born again! Cloud. Bonfires are funny, aren't they? They make you remember all sorts of things. You know, Cloud, five years ago... It's nothing. No, forget it. I'm afraid to ask. What is it? It feels like... It feels like you're going far away. You really... You really are. You really are you, right? Hey, Pupper. Long ago, when I was still very small, we were all around this flame. No, never mind. What happened? It's about my parents. When I talk about my mother, I am full of pride and joy, and that's fine, but when I remember my father, my heart is full of anger. You really can't forgive your father. Of course, he left mother for dead. When the guy tribe attacked, he ran off by himself, leaving mother and the people of the canyon. Come, Nanaki, there is something you should see. The place may be dangerous. Cloud, will you and one of your other person and one other person come with us? Sure. Who are we gonna take? So thirteen and Cloud are mandatory. Who's lowest level ignoring Cassith? Um I feel like I'm always taking Ares, which is just useful for a lot of things, like reloading with magic and heals and now limit giving. Though I feel people need to learn their second limits, don't they? they, they these two have only got their first part of level 2. And Yuffie is even f further behind, but we can work on that later. So maybe we'll take...
Decisions, decisions. I'm thinking Barrett or Tiffa. Let's go with Tiffa. I feel like we haven't had Tiffa for a while. We'll have to sort our material and stuff. But I think we'll do that next time. We'll end this episode here. And then we'll go see what Buchenhagen's got to show. Little Nanaki. Until next time. Goodbye for now. <laughs>